Hello, I'm a direct teacher. And today, we're talking about Willie Rhinoceros. Firstly, Willie Rhinoceros are the second largest land mammals in the Pleistocene era. In the Pleistocene era, how big are they? Their their fur coat has four is four layers thick. How tall are they? I'll show sure that they are. Seven to nine meters tall at the shoulder. They lived in the place down area. That's the uh, era. That's the time. Right after the push area. It's started it is it began in the in the at the end of the epoch area area era. Then now it ended at the Please turn away. That means what is this at the end of the place turn away. Uh, what is this four color? A four color. A four color is brown. And it's only brown and white. It is brown at its trunk and other parts, and it is white on its, its legs. It, it, what do you eat? It normally eats grasses, legumes. And herbs. Yeah, the grass is starting to grow at that time. Even how did it defend itself? It defended itself with its giant eight meter, eight meter long horn. That's almost the size of its body. It would gore its opponents. It used it either to battle or for defending itself against dire wolves, American lions. Keep lions and other predators, dark predators at that time. It was related. It is related to the modern day rhinoceros. As you can see, it, the family resemblance. The only thing is that the really rhino has much more hair than the normal rhinoceros. In this group. It's, a, it's a very dangerous. It's a very dangerous animal. And it's, it's, was twice, yeah, it had twice the more aggression than it's in modern day dinosaurs. And also, it's, it's, it's bigger, it has a longer horn, and they had better eyesight. So, even though they don't, they, they, they can smell you, they can see you, they can hear you. So, it's not going to be that easy to escape it. And it's extremely fast. Scientists, scientists think of it being able to run up to 70 miles per hour. That's almost as fast as a Vegeta. But nobody is sure actually. What I think is that they run up from 50 to 70 miles per hour. I'm not sure. It doesn't. That would be big. That would I think. It died because of starvation. It did not die because of the Ice Age. The Ice Age did not kill it off. It didn't live long enough to even see the Ice Age. All of them were wiped out as of starvation. Because before the Ice Age, there was a major starvation in the, in the places, in places like North America, South America, and Europe. Because the Ice Age is an apocalypse, and it has, it has phenomena before and after it. Oh, it's natural enemies where American lions, bully mammoth was also a natural enemy. It was bully mammoth, super tiger, American lion, cave lion, dire wolf, and giants, short faced bear. It showed up in Ice Age apocalypse and, and sometimes in the Ice Age branches like. Ice Age collision it showed up there. When the woolly mammoth was talking to the trees, then now let them submit. I know it showed up in the Ice Age branches. If, if it was to be revived, unless it be tamed, to be tamed, while it's still a baby, it will be very, very dangerous to revive this animal. Their hide is too is too thick for guns to go through. You need to shoot a bullet six times on its fur at the same place so that it kill it. 
so it would be very dangerous anymore and that's one could easily slash to a human's head no problem it would be very dangerous to inflict them to have them back unless you know, humans develop some kind of laser technology that can kill them maybe never know hit that subscribe button and notification bell to learn to make a new video and my next video will be about american lion and then bye